going to tell a story. He told it. He told me we were working at Disney. And, uh, he's, he's, he's kind of the he's kind of the go fast. He's a speed freak. He likes driving fast. That's one of his one of his things. But uh, since I don't remember the story, but uh, when you made your little you made a little rabbit, your little GTI, a little GTI, and, and it had a stopwatch in it. Well, they have a they have a trip computer in that car from okay. the factory. Okay. Okay. So explain. So you were going to work and you were pretty much racing yourself. This is pretty much your. So you got to yeah, tell actually, the story. <laughs> if you're familiar with Santa Barbara, there's a road that goes between Santa Barbara and uh, Solving or Buellton that's called San Marcos Pass. It goes over the mountains. It's you know There's a drop-off on one side, and there's hairpin turns and all kinds of fun stuff. And where I worked was right next to the airport in Santa Barbara, and it was 28 miles to drive through Santa Barbara, get to that road, go over that road, and then uh, through Solving to get to my parents' house. 28 miles. And I used to work until about 2 or 3 in the morning, and then I would make the trip home. And it was always set the trip computer to zero and leave. And, you know, it would just go faster and faster and faster, and I'd learn the road better and better. And the best time I ever had was I made the 28 miles in 16 minutes, 2, two seconds. And it was an average of 106 miles an hour. And I was in a 1985 Volkswagen GTI with 15-inch Momo wheels and uh, uh, 195 50-15 tires on it, good years. Oh, man. It, it, and that car drove like there was a pole in the middle of the car that you could just, with your right foot, you could make that car pitch and, and go wherever you wanted. And when I used to make that drive, I would do it at night, and I used, it was a two-lane highway. I used both lanes, and I'd be in a four-wheel drift going through a corner, and I'd see headlights starting to come around the corner, because you're on a mountainside, so you see the headlights before you see the car. Right. And then I would just drift back into my lane, the car would go by, and then I'd come back into that lane, <laughs> in, in a complete drift. <coughs> and our, my roommate, his name is Mark, Mark Coombe, and I was telling him how fast I was going in, in my times, and he, he said, no way, absolutely no way are you doing that. And so one night, you know, I had moved from my parents' house to his house, and I was renting a room from him, and I, I had told him this, and one night uh, I needed to go up to my parents' house, and I said, hey, I got to my parents, you want to go with me? I'll show you how I do this trip. And he goes, yeah, sure. Scared the living hell out of me. He said he would never ride with me again. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was absolutely insane. And I remember at work one day, like I say, from work to the house was 28 miles. And it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And my boss, Alain Clenet, he, uh, he leans over and he's got, he's French and he's got this accent. He says, eh, Chippe? And I said, yes. He says, do you have the drawing that you did of the automobile? And I said, uh, actually, it's at my house. This, when I was living with my parents, I had a studio set up there. So I would finish artwork at night in my in my studio there. I said, it's up there, uh, do you need it? And he says, uh, never mind. And I said, what do you need it for? And he says, well, I have a meeting in an hour, and I was going to use it in that meeting. All right. And I said, I can get there and back in an hour. He says, you cannot get to solving there and back in an hour. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll clock out, and I'll clock back in, and if I can do it in less than an hour, you pay me for the hour. Okay. It was 52 minutes there, <laughs> there and back. <laughs> and I clocked out and I showed him the, the time. And he says, he looks at me, he says, you're insane and I don't ever want you to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but it was 52 minutes. And I remember I came around one corner and I'm in a drift and there's this long downhill straight, and then it goes up on the other side. And about maybe, and this, this whole stretch is about maybe two and a quarter miles. And you can see that whole straight, you can see. And when I came around the first corner, I could see a car that's not quite halfway that's in front of me going in the same direction. And I see another car coming around the corner that's like two and a half miles up. I see him coming around the corner, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to lift, I don't want to slow down, but I'm going to get to these two cars right about the time that they're passing. And I, I, and I thought, 
I'm not lifting. And I kept my foot in it. And when I turned to miss the car that, it was basically, when those two were passing is when I turned to miss the car and turn into the other lane. And I probably missed the first car by about maybe three or four inches. <laughs> and the second car by about the same, going right between them. And then I, and I had turned hard because I was, I was probably doing about 130 miles an hour. And I turned real hard to get over into the, the oncoming car lane right behind the car that was just, that I was just passing. Right. And when I corrected, I went sideways. And I remember going sideways, and you know in a front wheel drive car, when you lift, if you get sideways, it'll do that uh, dog leg, the inside tire will come up. Well, I had lifted, and it dog legged right as I went, tried to straighten out. And I went way up, and I just put my foot back in the throttle, and I thought, I can't lift. And I went sideways for probably a good 30 to 50 yards. And I remember just holding my foot in it, and correcting, so I've got, I'm turning to the left, as I'm as I'm sliding and when that car corrected it went so fast that it dog legged the other way and I just kept my foot in it now on the right side is about a 700 foot drop and I don't want to go over the road and I'm going the other way and then it snapped back and went to the third third time it dog legged to the left and then it settled back down and I went straight I never lifted until just when that dog leg happened and I'm thinking to myself that must have been the coolest sight for that car behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's only a few times that everything goes into slow motion. That was one of them. And, you know, when you're driving, another time is when I spun out backwards in the rain and I was next to a cliff also, and I just slowly stepped on the brake and was able to stop the car and then go forward without, without hitting that cliff. But the coolest time I've ever had in a car was I did uh, Bob Lutz Drive 101 in Las Vegas, and that's the uh, Indy race cars. And I was at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I was doing about 174 miles an hour Dude. in one of the turns, and the right rear lower rod end snapped off the upright. And the back of the car immediately goes towards the wall. And your initial thought, you know, what they train you to do is just let go of the wheel, and and so you don't, you know, when it when the right. front tires hit the wall, that wheels that that steering wheel is going to snap, right. and it's going to break your wrists. But what I did was I turned and tried to correct the car when the when the rear end goes to the right, and you turn to the right. So I turned to the right, and I just see the wall coming at me. I thought, and everything went into slow motion. I thought, I don't want to hit the wall, so I turned the other way. And I spun the car out, and when I got it backwards, then I corrected to the right and started going to the infield. And the car goes down the track, but then spins back around and goes up back towards the wall. I did it again. I turned to the left, spun the back end around. The car drops down and spins around and does another 180 slowly, going back towards the wall. And I did it four times. I spun that car to 180 and got it to the infield while I was in a left-hand turn. With the back end broken over. Yeah. And... This guy from, from the uh, Drive 101 school comes out on one of those gators, and he's yelling at me, screaming at me, what are you doing, what are you And I go, oh, hold on, something broke back there. And when he got back there and he saw exactly what it was, that A-arm, that lower control arm, is on the actual pavement. So I'm just steel on pavement, and this car is skidding around. And he looks at me, he says, how'd you keep it off the wall? I said, everything went into slow motion, and I did whatever it took to keep it from the wall. <laughs> wow. But, but yeah, there's there's. Did those, you get, did you get your money back? No, but I have the AR. I'm actually sitting <laughs> in the other room. They they took it off the car, and everybody from the school signed it, and gave it back to me. Wow. So, and then said I could come back anytime I wanted. I, but now the school's gone. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Here's the other thing: is then you know they have me out of the car, and then they're walking me back, and this was on about lap five of the eight that you're supposed to get and we're walking back and uh he says yeah we're gonna all get together in this room where i go well i'm not done he says you want to go back i said that's the most fun i've ever had in the car yeah i want to go back <laughs> i thought i got eight laps that was lap five <laughs> so i actually got to get in another car yeah so 
And, and you saved their car. So you say you were kind of the hero. You saved the car. You didn't wreck well, the car. Well, if you wreck it, you're responsible for it, too. Oh. So, I, I didn't wreck it. No. That's pretty cool. It was on video? Did anybody record it? It wasn't on video. Oh, I wish it was. That would be cool to see. Man. Mm -hmm. So, I wish I did have that. My pleasure. We talked about some odd, uh, different subjects that I normally yeah, don't talk was about. was the whole idea. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you, guys.